the best suggestion I've had in the last year, the daily routine of an Aztec high priest. That was the best suggestion. So, we'll come to this side first. Thank you for putting the lights on so I can hold people accountable. If the lights are down, usually some idiot guy at the back is like, oh, it's my time to just shout sex and crude things. But now the lights are on, you feel more self-conscious. So, guys over here, what do you want to hear a rap about? So, well, see, I just said that guys shouting sex, just because you add in space to it, doesn't make it... I mean, admittedly, it is a great suggestion, but sex in space. Are you, are you involved with NASA? No, no. Would you like to be? Purely for that, just like, yeah. And it'd be, maybe I'll find, I don't know. Anyway, sex in space, I apologize, but that is the first question. Do you want to put a hand up over here? Yeah. The kids that didn't make it in Willy Wonka. <laughs> that is an absolutely fantastic suggestion. You knew that as well. You were like, I'll just put my hand up because it's a real good one. <laughs> wow, the kids that didn't make it in Willy Wonka, sex in space. Let's come to people at the back of the room. Let's get you guys. Yeah, hand up there. Where's Waldo? Mm, it's kind of a boring suggestion. I hate to be... I'm, fine, I'll take it. People, I thought you were going to be with me, like, yeah, it does suck. But no, you were all like, oh, we kind of wanted that. <laughs> Sex in space, the kids that didn't make it in Willy Wonka. Where's Waldo? There's a hand up here, yeah. TSA reform. TSA reform. <laughs> in favour of making it more stringent or more lax? There's definitely a 50-50 split. So uh, what, what's your views on TSA? How should we reform it? It's up to me. Well, I asked you the question. You're allowed to... I don't want to silence you. I'm, I'm interested. If you could change one thing about TSA, what would it be? No, no TSA. All right, Osama. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, sex in space. The kids that didn't make it in Willy Wonka. Where's Waldo? TSA reform. This side of the room, you've only really got one suggestion to give because they all stole all of yours. Um, let's see if we can crowdsource a really good one. Let's, we'll get a few and then pick the best. What's it, yeah. Pruno. Pruno? The, is that prune juice? Uh, yeah. It's, 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 it's what? Jail wine. Jail wine. It is. And you make it by, you put like anything that's kind of ferments with sugar in a sock in the back of a toilet system, right? Well, I, you know, no, <laughs> don't make it out like I've been inside. I've not, I've not done hard time. Not with a face like this. Gosh. Pruno. I mean, that is a better suggestion than anyone here is going to give. Okay. Pruno, prison sex, where's Waldo, TSA reform, and the kids that didn't make it in, not, no, sorry, not prison sex. I've got that on the brain now. Um, <laughs> you're just making me think about it. Sex in space, Yeah. It's because a week ago, someone suggested prison sex. So that's, uh, that's why I'm, I'm thinking about that now. I'm just wondering. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, cool. Right, now I've got my Freudian slip out of the way. Um, <laughs> this then, lovely people of the Comedy Magic Club, to close out the show, a fun little thing called a freestyle rap. That is a rap made up on the spot, based entirely on... You say, whoa, like, I don't think... Clearly, that's what was being set up, right? <laughs> I wasn't going to go, okay, your suggestions are these five things. Good night and goodbye. Have a... No, it's gonna, I'm going to turn them into a, a beautiful song. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's not prepared. It's not scripted. Don't worry. It won't be anywhere near as bad as you're expecting it to be. <laughs> you seem so unconvinced. That's okay. Let's, uh, let's drop that beat, good sir. Let's have some fun. It's a good one as well. It's got a nice little kind of Afrobeat style. Never done hard time, but I know In a jail cell, you can always find Bruno Not nice, like it's from Bordeaux Made down the back of a toilet bowl I just pop off the lid, I can't resist them I drink it straight out of the sock in the cistern It's a problem in our prison system I want to get drunk, but the guards resist them No, don't give the criminals booze So they gotta make Bruno in their lose Put it in the toilet, put it in the cell Annoyingly, the horrible spoils it, that smell Makes it ferment so wrong why is the prison sock stretched so long? Probably because they take that time to ferment any sugar containing things to wine. It's how you make alcohol content. If I met a guy in a continent called Britain, well, technically Europe, and I like chocolate, well, I adore it. You can see me, I'm Charlie Bucket. I get a little gold ticket. Oh, I'm in luck. It's an invitation to the factory. I think I'm going to win. What are my chances, B? Maybe one out of six because Augustus Gloop, he can't resist. He just licks his lips oh yes y'all when he sees a chocolate waterfall he 
even though Willy Wonka doesn't invite him, he just says, I'm gonna go and dive in. He's a real portly dude, a fat German kid getting stuck in a tube. Next one, it was her own fault. Horrible girl, Veruca Salt. She was like, oh yeah, this isn't hard. And what about Violet Beauregard? She chewed that gum till she got so big, grew till she's blue, what a fat pig. And then you had another guy we can agree, American character, Mike TV. He liked violence, he liked guns, he didn't get the factory because it wasn't that fun. There probably was another one that I am forgetting. It doesn't matter, Charlie Bucket's parents always stayed in the bed. And grandparents, Grandpa Joe, then the great gas elevator blows right through the roof and into space. And what would they do there? Come in his face, probably. Never show respect to me because I'm up in space and I'm sexually admiring the other astronauts. I joy down on a graph, that's an ass report. I go, oh yeah, I really want to tap you. I get down, kick a Navarro, NASA. Hey, have you got Viagra and Houston? We've got a problem. You can bring up here. Try to do a very funny pun about that, but it didn't work. Yeah, on the helmet, it goes splat. Gotta make sure that the visor's up. Let me talk about this. Gotta gather it up. All your things, 100 mil in a tiny little bag. TSA guy acting all bad. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go and spill because this is actually one, oh, three mil. That's too many, you gotta get smaller. 3.5 ounces, what a baller. This is out of order, yeah, I will warn. All TSA agents, we're starting reform. The lady over there thinks you'd be relaxed. Everybody like, we don't pay our tax for you to make a holiday much worse. Calm down, it doesn't matter who's first or business or economy. We don't want to get bombed on a holiday. So technically, security is a good thing. If on the plane, a bomb could be bring or brung. That's the past tense of the world. You'd be looking round there, you would have heard We can search through the bag if it's deep or shallow Oh, I found it, like, where's Waldo? I technically said Waldo, not Waldo In the UK, we have a ball though We say Wally, not Waldo That's a little fact that now you all know Open up the page, what are we like? He's always hiding with the red and white stripes Try and hunt him down, try and have a look What a gosh darn boring book Every page is exactly the same I can't find him, well, who's to blame? Ah, you guys are bad, you're the worst of all. No, you're the illustrator, you just drew him small. You hid him away, what a bad job. The yellow and black striped guy and the dog. Always see him again and again. The tail of the dog looking like a candy cane. Now, there's one more thing that slipped out of my brain. What was the last suggestion we needed to do? Did we, did, no, was there none, none left? Did we do them all? Oh, give, me, you know, give me one more, because that fellow went too fast. What? Hardcore PC gaming. Okay, it's a rat, we improved there. Wearing a SpaceX hoodie, what a loser. You wanna go up there and fornicate. SpaceX buddies, be each other's mates. But when you're up there, watch where you're aiming. This guy, he loves hardcore gaming. He's like, yeah, I never come last. I go on Twitch and I play StarCraft. Like all the kids that are over in Korea. No one even knows about that here. You go and see LOL, League of Legends, I can tell. Watch Overwatch with all the great teams playing there on a massive plasma screen. You play so much that it's hard to think. You dehydrate when you play, you don't drink. What a bunch of losers. There you go. <laughs>